As you might know, I am the biggest art genius in the world, and that's why I have created this very beautiful furry painting. False! In reality, I just saw these pictures on Instagram, which I thought were very nice, and ve I was very excited to see if I can copy this style, and as it turns out, there is a very simple and very elegant way to do this in Cinema 4D. Okay, so first I will create a plane and change the orientation of this plane to minus Z. I will change the width of this to 120 and the height to 178 centimeters. And the simple reason for that is that my texture, my image here, is the same ratio as the numbers that I just mentioned. So now there's no stretching here and I can use this for my picture. Now I can select my plane, I can search for the uh, add hair and as you can see some hair is already here. Now if I go in here and start the IPR you can see that everything is black and that's because there are no lights. I can search for the physical sky, click enter and now as you can see some hair is already visible on my screen. Now the most interesting thing is that you can double click on this hair material, go in here in the texture and choose your Mona Lisa in my case and if you refresh the redshift view, as you can see, the hair is already colored in the color of the image. Now, if you change this specular to something like 20%, you will see that this color is more visible and the reflection is not as shiny. Next, I will change the length to 35 centimeters, click refresh, and as you can see, the hair is a bit shorter. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for a brush, uh, this one, I will click on this hair and I will move around all these hairs so that they um, look a bit more random. Now if I go back to the render view, you can see that this looks more like uh, some kind of a random hair. Finally, I can go in this hair material, I can check length, I can increase this to 100%, I can check clump, I can check curl, I will uh, lower this to 50 and I will change the thickness to 0.2 on the root and to 0 0.01 on the tip. Now if I refresh the, uh, the render view, as you can see this hair uh, has become a bit different. So finally I will just increase the amount of hairs so that uh, they look a bit more thick and you can see the hairs a bit more. I will wait uh, until it updates and that's it! If you spend more time with the hair settings, you will probably get better results for your needs. Also, this is a very good way to create a colored animal fur if you have, for example, a cat with a texture on it. Share your results in the comments, ask questions, write suggestions, especially if you think that I'm doing something stupid and there's a better way to do it.